Okay, we're here inside the simulator. As you can see, we're going to just go through a quick startup sequence so you guys can see how this thing how this thing works. This is the interior of it here. We're looking at the instrument panel. I have the seats taken out. And some of the things we're working on right now, you can see the interior we've got um, up above here, we're finishing up the paneling that goes inside, wraps around, but I'll take you through and show you how this thing starts up. Again, I've taken the seats out, but let's go ahead and go through a quick startup sequence. So we're going to go up here, we're going to turn on the APU, and what that does is that's going to go over here and it's going to start up our fan and that's going to give us some accessibility. Looks like we've got the gear up. Let's go ahead and put that down. Drop that. And what we're going to do is we're going to fire up these engines by going back up to here. Now that our APU is running and you see we don't have power going to our two instrument panels here. They're just now lighting up because that APU is now generating power to the plane. I can switch through and I can see here what's going on with my controls, my hydraulics. In fact, I can go up here and make some changes to those right on my switches. And we can see that, we can see what the impact of that switching is doing here on my hydraulics. And then what we'll do is we'll go ahead and fire up one of our engines, start that left engine. But down here there are controls. You can see that firing up. Now I'm going to engage fuel. And that's engine one. You can see that running? We pull the power back. Then we're going to go up, start engine number two. Follow that. And we'll engage that. And we've got full power running from those engines. We'll pull those back. And that's our startup sequence you can see here. We've got our controls for the pilot. We've got over here our controls for the co-pilot. You can see how those are kind of dull. We need to put some new screens in those to really light them up. And then we've got to do some updating to our flight computer panel here. But for the most part, that is, uh, that's the simulator. You go ahead and turn it off. Cut our power off, get our warning lights that come up here, and we're going to go back up here, turn our start off, turn our APU off, it's going to turn our generator back off, and then that's going to give us the rest of our stuff. Now we have a, currently have a screen that is located on the top of this, up there it's just called a short throw projector, that's one of the things we need to upgrade to the three projectors. Then of course on the outside you can see down here we've got the computer systems that are running this and those controls that need to be improved and updated. We've also got down here in our wiring compartment different, uh, different pieces that, that need to be uh, addressed. All of this functions and works. We do have our main brain box as we call it inside of there that uh, also uh, has been uh, fixed. And then below, we've got these hydraulics that run the different resistance. And these are motors, they're a little bit hard to see in this video, but these motors all run the different resistance. And, and we've got a, a couple of boards under here that, uh, like that board there, has got a little bit of issues, so we've got a little bit of work to do on that board. But for the most part, this machine is Running fantastic. It's been a lot of hard work. There's one of our flight chairs. As you can see, that's an actual chair. 
And we're gonna be putting in the uh, remainder of the interior and building that out. We've got the full panels that go in the back here that go up with the breaker boxes. So this will be one of the few full-blown um, realistic simulators out there on the market. And it's, it's certainly gonna be a fun fun one for kids to come in and enjoy uh, flying in an airplane. So thanks much for your time. See ya, bye.